I'm George and this is the Color Theory Crash Course Part 3 and we're gonna talk about RGB versus As a graphic designer, it's important to know the differences between these two. So you will optimize your design and the final result will be as close as you want others to see it. And that requires you to know more than what the letter stands for. RGB is an additive color model in which red, green and blue light are added together with different intensity to create a broad array of colors. In other words, every color begins as black and when all these three colors are added up at the max level, they create white. You should use RGB color mode when you create works that will be seen on a display, any type of display, phone, tablets, monitors, LCD boards and TV screens. And I mean works like Facebook ads, websites, infographics, photos, icons and so on. And the best file format for that are JPEG, PNG and GIF. Guys, I'm sorry. What? I just want to show you this GIF I saw the other day. GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format. I'm sorry, are you trying to tell me that it's pronounced graphics? Am I gonna go home later today and play with my Jolden Retriever? Maybe for your birthday, I'll GIF you a GIF. On the other hand, CMYK is a subtractive color model and it's based on CMY color model that predicts the appearance of cyan, magenta and yellow pigments organized at thin overlay layers to reproduce any other color. And the lonely K stands for key, not black. Fun fact, the secondary colors of CMY color model are red, green and blue, RGB. As I said before, CMYK is used for print purposes as printing machines will use inks layered one over the other to create color over the white canvas. So every color begin as white. And as you add all the other colors, you will get black. It's the exact opposite of RGB. The best file format for CMYK are PDF, APS, SVG, and TIFF. And some print works may include flyers, posters, business cards, t-shirts, or packaging and billboards. I have created this useful cheat sheet. And you can find the download link in the description down below. Maybe you have noticed it, that I didn't include logos in any of those two color modes. And that's because logos are a little bit different. It can be on digital and print work. And I will recommend color spaces like Toyo and Pantone. And I'm gonna talk about those in a future video on this course. And I have a question for you. Is black a color or not? Leave your answer in the comment section and I will answer you within the next video on this course. Bye!